Hello everyone, I am Mr. Kevin and I am a architectural historian who works here at Cranbrook and I'm going to be taking you around on a little tour of your school, Brookside, which is one of my favorite buildings here at Cranbrook. And I love the way that it feels almost like you're inside of a storybook castle um, or a gentle for, uh, fortress. And I'm gonna start our tour here in the oldest part of Brookside School, which is called the Meeting House, what's now the Drama Classroom. And Brookside School uh, began here in 1922, but the building was actually even older than that. It's from 1918. And this is, uh, the meeting house was built with leftover building supplies like wooden beams and stone rocks uh, from Cranbrook House, where Mr. and Mrs. George and Ellen Booth lived. And when they built on to their own house, they had leftover supplies and they decided to build the little meeting house here. And at first they used it for Sunday school lessons and then they would also have a little kindergarten in this one room schoolhouse. Mr. Booth was very interested in art, sculpture, drama. He was also interested in architecture and he designed this meeting house. He then hired his friends from Detroit to help do little paintings like this quote. I love the peacocks that are around the painting. And then he also hired a wood carver to come in and carve architectural details. These are called corbels. And here we have St. Matthew. And on the other four corbels, we have the other saints. Uh, here is St. Mark and then Luke and John. At the center of the room is this beautiful fireplace. And above the fireplace, we see this scene with the little child who has a globe and he's handing it to the old man who looks very wise. And next to him is a younger man who is playing his harp. I like these figures because they're redheads. The woman who painted these, Catherine McEwen, was also a redhead. And so am I. You'll know if you've done plays here that we use this for the stage. And if you look out the front of Brookside, you can see Lone Pine Road, which is where you might drive to get here to get to school. And then of course the little brook, the river, runs right underneath and alongside the meeting house. What's very cool about being backstage is that we can see this fun spiral staircase that takes us downstairs to the classrooms. Do you like these little tiny windows? Now Brookside was never under attack, but if it was, you could almost envision a knight in medieval times shooting arrows out of the windows to protect dear Brookside. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that today. This is the very original front door of Brookside, and it has a fun painting above it as well, with 1918 at the center. That was when this room was built. And do you see that those are unicorns that the angels are riding? If we walk down the hallway of Brookside, my favorite architectural feature of this building is that it rambles on forever. And it almost seems like no architect designed it. It was just built as rooms were needed, which is sort of true. In this classroom, we see windows that were made by a Scottish art artist, and they represent different things you might do here at Brookside. That's music. Here is dance. Next is geography with a big globe. Next up is something. I'm not sure. What do you think that is? And finally, we have math. You know it's mathematics because we see the numbers there. I think that's drama, the missing, the missing panel. 
as we move on through the building, these buildings were built a few years after the meeting house. I love this big circle, which has a planter in the middle. I think it makes the stairway very interesting. The stairs also have more paintings with little stencils. Do you see the little red flower? As we turn this corner, we're in another bright hallway, and here are the dining rooms. These stained glass windows represent teachers who taught at Brookside and have now retired. These chairs, which are flipped up because no one's here to eat lunch today, uh, these were made at Cranbrook by students at the Art Academy, and they're made out of bent plywood. This is the bigger dining room, and these lights were made by Henry Booth. He was the son of George and Ellen who founded Cranbrook, and he helped to design this room and later buildings here at Brookside. And here you see Henry when he was a very old man. He did a lot of very nice things to help make Brookside a success. As we move on, we're coming to the library. This library actually used to be outside. It was a courtyard. And then in the 1960s, an architect came in and put a roof over the courtyard. Before it was called the library, it was called the cloisters. And cloisters are courtyards back in Europe in medieval times where monks would work. There's this fun fountain here in the courtyard library. These tiles were made in Flint, Michigan. The little frogs are playing lots of musical instruments. And then up here is a mommy pelican with her little pelican children. This sculpture was actually made for the boys' high school, for Cranbrook School, but they never installed it there and so it got to be put here at Brookside. What are your favorite books that you're reading now? In this hallway, you can see it has another decorative ceiling with fun wood paneling. I think the wood paneling makes it feel very old, like a old castle. And even these benches, which we call cloister benches, make it feel like you're in a very old building, perhaps a fairy tale. Now we're in the lobby that you may use to get in and out of school. And it has this amazing brick vault ceiling. A vault is used, maybe you've seen it uh, in church or synagogue or an older building. A vault is when you have bricks or rocks that are put together in an arch, a curve like this, to support the ceiling above. The light fixture here, it almost looks like a geode or a gym with all these fun geometries and angles, hexagons and triangles. This was designed by Henry Booth. There's also this needlepoint tapestry here. This was made for the 50th anniversary of Cranbrook. It was made by moms with students here at Brookside. And they needlepointed using thread and string different scenes from Cranbrook. What do you recognize in the tapestry? I see Brookside. That's Jonah and the Whale from the Art Museum, Christchurch Cranbrook, the Art Museum, the Bull in Europa from the Art Academy, and the Triton with Horns. Here's Kingswood, where you might go to high school, the Triton with Fishes, Cranbrook School, 
And then here is another sculpture playing her little flute. What else is in this lobby? There's a clown. This clown was made by Mr. Marshall Fredericks. And Mr. Fredericks taught at uh, Kingswood a long time ago, and he made this clown in 1936. He's made of bronze, which is a very hard metal, very, very tough, and you can turn bronze from gold or brown into this green color, which is called patina. There are also these bells. These bells are modeled after ancient Chinese bells, Chinese temple bells, and they're supported by a little Chinese dragon. The original bells were a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Hoey, who were head of the schools here at Cranbrook for a very long time. Do you know who else was head of Brookside? Mrs. Winter, and Mrs. Jessie Winter was the very first person to lead Brookside, and she was head of the school from 1922 until the 1970s. And I think it's a very nice painting of Mrs. Winter. There's, of course, the gymnasium down there. And then the playground, which I bet all of you are missing, having fun on the playground now. You can also look back and see the building here. I love the way that the bricks pop out on the side. It makes it seem almost like the building would fall over if those bricks those columns, buttresses, were not there. There's also, when you're back here on the playground, you should go and look at that little plaque down there. That is Mr. Henry Booth as well. He did so much for the school that we thanked him by putting his pictures and portraits all around. There's also this little gym that Mr. Henry Booth designed. And he designed not only this very cool ceiling, of wooden beams, but he also designed these light fixtures. These light fixtures are made of brass, which is a very golden color metal. Why do you think we didn't make the lights out of gold? That's too expensive. There's also a neat painting here which has a quote from Mr. Booth. The only way to have is to give, the only way to keep is to share, and the only thing worth finding is opportunity. And that is a good mantra to use uh, throughout your life. This is where Brookside connects to a later building that's on a different video tour, the Early Childhood Center and the Music and Science Rooms. There's one other place here at Brookside that I would like to show you. We'll take the long way around because when I'm looking at buildings, I don't like to go back the same way I came. And one thing that I think is so fun about Brookside are that the way these hallways don't line up and just go in and out and all around. This classroom, you can sit inside a fireplace I don't think you want to do that if you have a fireplace at home. You might get very dirty, but we don't build fires in our fireplaces anymore here at Cranbrook. What do you miss most about being here at school? Do you have a locker where you can store your things here? And did you forget a sandwich in it? Because something smells really bad and I think someone left a sandwich in their locker. We're making it back upstairs. Where do you think is the last place that I want to take you on the tour? I bet it's a place that none of you have been. And it's right up these stairs. Now don't get dizzy, because we are going to go around and around and around 
and around. This is called a spiral staircase. And it's called a spiral staircase because it spirals almost like a snail. And when you get to the very top, we are on top of the tower. And from here, I can see all of Brookside. It's so cool. The meeting house where we started the tour is right beyond there. The library, which was the old cloister. Here's the stairway I just came out of. That's where some of Mr. Booth's other children used to live. We can see down to the playset, the gymnasium. And if we look over here, you can see the addition with the early childhood center, the music rooms, the science rooms. There's the little gym, the multi-purpose room we were just in. And then lastly, you can see where Mrs. Winter used to live, the old headmistress house. And behind that are apartments. And then over there, you see the rest of Cranbrook. One thing that's neat about the tower is that it has these bells on it. And you can play the bells and play them out all across the city. Thank you so much for joining me for this tour. I hope that you are being good kids. I hope that you're doing lots of reading and lots of playing and lots of building and crafts. And I know all of your teachers here at Brookside can't wait for you to come back uh, to school. So who knows when that will be, but be good, be nice, um, play well with any siblings that you have, and we'll see you back at Cranbrook eventually.